That is 1150 Academy founder and president Scott Jones as he accepted the Talent Impact Award at the Mira Awards Gala. And Jones created 1150 Academy to help Hoosiers gain the education and skills they need to land high-paying entry-level tech jobs. We at 1150 are trying to set the bar and then partner with Ivy Tech and Vincennes and Martin University and Wabash and all the other schools. This is not competitive. We are trying to power up as a nonprofit and help them to produce that yeah. talent that is ready to go get a job through an apprenticeship like the new Tech Point announcement, which is fabulous, uh, apprenticeship or you know full employment. Jones says uh, the Academy, uh, Academy graduates have filled more than 800 tech jobs since the start of the pandemic in March 2020. He says 97% still working and or living in Indiana. Well, in less than two years, the Darden Group has made really a significant impact in Indiana while building dreams and in some cases exceeding expectations. That's why Mira judges selected Akila Darden, the founder and president of the Darden Group, as this year's Community Impact Award winner, the individual winner there. Akila shares how she's breaking down barriers in the traditionally white male dominated construction industry. So we're a construction management firm and we deal with large complex commercial projects and in the two billion dollars of building um, we've exceeded all goals and expectations. Yeah. So we don't only just build the physical um, buildings but we also build people, we educate people, we help the diverse workforce and we help people to um, just think outside the box. So specifically, you are focused on the construction uh, industry, which is typically a white male dominated uh, industry. How do you uh, how do you do that? How do you meet those diversity goals? What they see is what they'll be. And if I can get out there and show people that I am a black female in construction with 23 years and four kids and a husband, by the way, I like to thank my husband and my kids and my mom. Um, uh, it was just if they could see me and see what I've done that they can do it. You again uh, made a, a very quick and immediate impact after forming uh, your business, your first major uh, project, uh, Bloomington based Cook Group building a manufacturing facility on the city's near northeast uh, side and you were tasked with uh, essentially uh, ensuring there's 100 percent diversity when it comes to all of the contracts and uh, things associated with that. Talk about first of all talk about the project. Yes yeah, so the project is a 50,000 square foot manufacturing facility. It was built by Cook Medical run by Goodwill. So we engaged um, the community. We had 97 percent uh, percentage of color owning businesses businesses. We had anywhere from 35 to 75 percent of the individuals who built the project from the community and of color. We also had three generations and it took 45 days. That's all we had. So what we did was we grassroots. Who is in the community? Who do we know? And let's get them out there and tell them what the goals are and to see how they could come alongside of us and uh, get it done. And we were able to get that done. And um, and just impact the community and give people jobs who didn't have them. And we also gave them free uh, construction certifications and safety certifications along the way. Yeah, I know there's the manufacturing facility, grocery store, other things in that area, all part of that project that are really putting those people in the neighborhood uh, back to work. And you have uh, uh, really um, used that uh, project to get additional projects. We've got a big project with IU Health now, I understand. Absolutely. So because of the success of the manufacturing facility, I was hired by IU Health um, as a director of diversity and inclusion um, within design and construction. So now we went from a $16 million facility to a multi-billion dollar facility with the goals of almost a billion dollars in diverse spend over five years. So we're looking for diverse people to build. We're looking for companies to grow and even start just like mine. And people are are starting businesses because of the Darden Group. And because I went to IU Health, I was able to hire five, and they happen to be women, to run the Darden Group um, while I'm at IU Health. Lauren James uh, from TechPoint joining me again. Great story uh, again and interesting in not only what she accomplished yeah. in terms of that 100% participation, but how she used technology to, to make it all happen. Yes, you can hear in her voice that tenacity and mm -hmm. that innovative mindset that's really setting Akila apart. Mm -hmm. And what's compelling about the story is how she harnessed that technology to do both what you've mentioned. She grew her workforce and then she's also capturing that target audience. And those are mm -hmm. two really outside of the box ways of thinking 
thinking that even smaller and bigger companies should be adopting. Yeah, and that project, and goes, she's going on to the IU Health Project, which is massive uh, here on the near north side of Indianapolis, but the Cook Group project, that manufacturing plant, from a placemaking standpoint, the impact on community is substantial. Truly remarkable, yeah. and sh she brought that to life in the application, how intentional she was with those innovative efforts and then also bringing that forth in the near uh, east side, which is a community that desperately needs uh, that placemaking support. We're gonna see long-term impacts. I Good. can see it. We look forward to following.